Ryan Garcia once again kicking it and hanging out with Floyd Mayweather. But his next opponent, Devin the Dream Haney, warns Ryan Garcia. We're going to talk about all of that in this video. And I'm going to show y'all the moment that Ryan Garcia realized that signing with Floyd Mayweather is a bad idea all around for his career. Let's talk about it in this video. Before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub to the channel. Now, lately, we've been seeing Ryan Garcia very, very close to Floyd Mayweather. We know that Ryan and Floyd have a close relationship. Some might say that Ryan Garcia is closer to Floyd Mayweather now than Floyd's own fighter, Javante Davis. Now, I know y'all going to say, oh, Tank ain't with Floyd in them no more. Prove it to me. Because last time I seen Tank fight, the one that I seen right in the middle of the ring with Javante Davis was Leonard Ellaby and Floyd Mayweather of TMT Promotions. But that's not what this video is about. Now, I told y'all a while back that Ryan Garcia hanging out with Floyd Mayweather, it's not a coincidence. We all know about the legal issues that Ryan Garcia and Golden Boy Promotions are going through right now at this very moment. Ryan Garcia is in an ongoing battle because he's been trying to get out of his contract with Golden Boy Promotions. Not only that, Golden Boy Promotions is suing Ryan Garcia for breach of contract. Now, they've kind of kept that quiet. We don't know exactly what's going on with that issue. But Ryan, he's not stepping off of his square. He wants out of Golden Boy Promotions. He don't rock with Oscar De La Hoya, and he don't rock with Bernard Hopkins. Now, back in the day, Floyd Mayweather found himself in the same position as Ryan Garcia. He wanted to get up out of his top-ranked contract. Well, he was able to buy his way up out of his top-ranked contract for like $700,000. Now, of course, Bob Arum had no idea what he had in Floyd Mayweather. Bob Arum was showing a bunch of favoritism towards fighters like Oscar De La Hoya. He wasn't really rocking with Floyd like that, you know? Oscar was a huge star back then, and he was leaving Floyd Mayweather on the back burner. So Floyd Mayweather, hey, he said, you know what? Let me buy my way out of the contract. Floyd was ever able to buy his way out of the contract for $700,000, and we know the story from then on, what Floyd went on to do. Well, Ryan Garcia is in a different situation because according to Oscar De La Hoya, Ryan Garcia is locked in that contract for some years. And we know not too long ago, a few years back, Ryan Garcia actually re-signed to Golden Boy. So Ryan is not going to be able to buy his way out of his contract for no $700,000 or nowhere near it. Now, I don't know how much he can buy his way out of his contract or if he can even buy his way out of the contract because we don't know what the wording in that contract is. So they got a problem. And Ryan Garcia got a problem, but Ryan Garcia talked about how Floyd Mayweather bought himself out of his contract. And he actually talked about in the interview, kind of insinuating Floyd Mayweather buying him out of his contract with Golden Boy Promotions. So it's no secret that Ryan wants to go with TMT Promotions, right? Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby, they have formed a relationship with Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia feels at this point in time, it will be in his best interest to get with TMT Promotions and let Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby build his career even higher than it is right now. Hmm. But is that a good idea? Nah, that's not a good idea at all. And I'm going to tell y'all exactly why that is absolutely not a good idea. Now, I'm not saying it's not a good idea for Ryan Garcia to get up out of that Golden Boy Promotions contract because I think it will be a great idea for Ryan to maybe go with Al Heyman, but not Floyd Mayweather. But overall, keep yourself a promotional free agent so you can sign a one fight or a two fight deal here and there so you can make all of the fights that you wish to make. 
I'm going to let y'all know why Ryan Garcia should realize that that decision, if he were to make that decision, is a horrible decision. And I'm also going to show y'all the moment that Ryan Garcia should have realized that that's a horrible decision. So I'm going to break that down and show y'all just why that's not a good decision for Ryan Garcia. But before I do that, let's talk about Devin Haney's direct message that he sent to Ryan Garcia after he saw Ryan and Floyd Mayweather together. So Devin Haney, he sees all of this and he decides to direct message Ryan. And he tells Ryan, as y'all can see right here, Floyd can't save or help you. And Ryan responds back by cry me a river. Like, now you're crying because I'm with Floyd Mayweather. I'm hanging out with Floyd. And my first reaction was, why is he messaging Ryan Garcia? Because he see him hanging out with Floyd Mayweather. Like, is he worried? Like, that's none of his business. But then I thought a little bit more deeper in the situation. And I said, this is all for promotion. The reason Devin Haney showed what he messaged Ryan Garcia is because they're just promoting the fight. Now, I'm not saying that Ryan is hanging out with Floyd to promote the fight, but I'm saying that the reason why Devin Haney messaged Ryan Garcia and then shared with the world what he messaged Ryan Garcia is to promote the fight. And I'm like, okay, Devin gets it now. He's learning how to promote himself. He's learning how to do different things to build the fight. And I don't have no problem with that. Now, I can't tell none of the other fans how to take this, right? People are gonna run off and y'all gonna twist it and take it how you wanna take it, right? And that's not to say that I'm right or y'all wrong. I'm just saying that's how I took the situation after I looked into it more deeply. And I feel this Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney fight, it's going to be huge. You know, like I said, Devin, he understands how to promote himself a lot better than he used to. And Ryan Garcia, that's one of his main keys to success is knowing how to promote himself and build himself. So this is going to be a big fight. You see Floyd Mayweather, man, he trying to get involved in this any way he can. When it's a big fight going down, Floyd is always going to try to get involved. Now, I don't know if Floyd going to be able to weasel his way in this situation because, you know, you got Golden Boy promotions and you got Matchroom promotions and both of those fighters are on the zone. So while Ryan and Floyd was walking doing this interview, one thing I noticed is Floyd Mayweather did what he always does. He hogs the whole interview. And he doesn't let the fighter get a word in. And I said, yeah, this ain't going to work, right? And it became a moment where an I seen Ryan Garcia try to get a word in and Floyd Mayweather kind of stiff armed him off like, hold on, I got this. Shut the F up, you know, and Ryan just, you know, he was, he was quiet, but it ain't going to work. And at that moment, Right there that I'm showing y'all on the screen, Ryan Garcia should have realized that I cannot be a TMT fighter. I can't do it. See, it worked for Javante Davis for a long time, even though they had their ups and downs. It worked for Tank Davis because Tank was quiet, right? And Tank got with them when he actually needed to be built into a superstar. Ryan Garcia already a superstar, right? And Ryan Garcia ain't going to shut up for nobody. See, Floyd wants to be in the spotlight and Floyd is going to want to do all the talking. Ryan Garcia is a great talker. He don't need Floyd talking for him. Ryan Garcia already built himself up to be where he's at. It's not going to work because Ryan is hard headed and it ain't going to be too long before he blows up. And he had a problem with Floyd always butting in and talking for him. Also, Ryan wants respect from the boxing world. Ryan wants to show that he's just not a TikToker or Instagrammer. So Ryan is doing everything he can to fight the best competition. If he get with Floyd, 
We damn sure ain't gonna see no Devin Haney fight. We ain't gonna see none of these other fights happen. And I mean these big fights. If he gets with Floyd, Ron Garcia will go back to fighting the Fonseca's and, and all these Rudy Poots that he was fighting over there on Golden Boy before he got the Javante Davis fight. He's not going to get no big fights. They're going to milk him and milk him and milk him and milk him. So for the next two or three years, Ryan Garcia will be fighting Rudy Poots. And they're going to build him the same way they did Javante Davis. But they don't need to do that with Ryan. And Ryan is not in that same position that Tank was when he got with TMT. But see, that's their blueprint. Put Ryan Garcia in the fights that he can win and make him look spectacular and build him into a household name. But the fans ain't going to go for that with Ryan Garcia because we've seen that already with Golden Boy and Ryan. It ain't going to work. I'm telling y'all, that's my opinion. Now, I have all the respect in the world for Floyd Mayweather as a fighter. You know, but other than Javante Davis, what stars have Floyd Mayweather built? None but himself. Ryan better realize that Floyd is cool and hanging out with Floyd is cool and you love Mayor LB. <laughs> but TMT promotions ain't it, dog. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Drop a comment in my comment section. Make sure you hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub, and y'all already know how I do. Tego talking that boxing again, and I'm gone. They didn't do cause every time you look up, I'm right.